Hey up YouTube, Ryan Paltrow, the Yogs Filmmaker here. Today I'm going to be looking at the Canon 100D. Yeah, you heard me right, I know the 250D has just come out. But I'm going to be testing the 100D. Um, mainly because I don't have a, a, a 250D and, you know, I want to see if this actually does still do the job and if you need to pay an extra £400 to get a decent DSLR. Before all that, roll your titles. No, roll my titles. Roll those titles. Boom! <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to be looking at the Canon 100D. I'm going to be taking it out into the real world. Into the real world! I'm going to be taking it out into the real world. Um, and I'm going to be using this bad boy to see what I can get. And uh, we'll go from there. So what I've also done is I've put on, uh, because this is the camera that I use as a backup camera as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've already got on there um, the a couple of different styles, including um, C-Log, Cinemalog and uh, we can test it out with flat profiles as well, see what it's like. So let's go into the real world and try these out, bye. Oh, balls. So I think we should put this little bad boy through its test. Um, so I'm gonna be taking some photos with it in a studio setting. I'm gonna be taking some photos um, in a landscape and natural light setting. And I'm also gonna be um, doing a little bit of video. So let's have a go, let's see. So I'm gonna take this photo at uh, one two hundredth of a second, 2.8 with a, a 200 ISO. See what sort of fall we can get from it. The focusing points are really bad. Oh, there we go. So the focusing points are quite slow. No, you see, it focuses okay like that, but it only has like nine focusing points. That seems to be a little bit better. Let's have a see what it's like at video. So I'm gonna put it to 50th of a second. It's a two point. Put it at 3.5 and let's, let's try this. It's quite difficult to work out how to actually film because it shows the button but it, that keeps opening the shutter. Letting it exposure. How do you actually start filming? So usually with Canons it's really easy. You find the button, you press it and it starts filming but... Ah! It has an actual filming mode. There we go. Again, there's no quick, there's actually it doesn't have automatic focusing like the 5D Mark IV. Let's get a bit closer. The Vision C log that I've got on the Canon 5D Mark IV. So let's try it with that on it. You see, the one thing that I do sort of like about this is it's it's quite light, even with this lens on it, which is quite a heavy lens, really light to use. But I think that if I could, I'd get a grip for the bottom because the, it feels a bit flimsy. I feel that if I drop it, it's just gonna damage everything and I don't want that, you know? And it's, it's a nice camera, it really is. Let's go test it somewhere else, let's go. Currently changed the lens over to the 24 205 mil. Bear in mind this is a crop sensor, so it probably puts it at about 32, 33 maybe uh, millimeters, um, as it basically brings the image in. Now, don't get me wrong, I think that this lens 
it does it, it does do well on it. So I was using the 50 mil on it, and that probably made it more like a 65, 68 mil. Having watching the video back, so I'm still filming on the 100D, um, just to get a bit of a feel of it. But um, have to, having watching back the bit of footage that I've just done, I've realised the sound is really terrible. Uh, even though I'm, I'm using a Rode microphone, the sound isn't that great. Um, also, I uh, noticed that the focusing, because it's got um, it's got the similar sort of focusing that the 5D Mac Two uh, Mac Four has on it, uh, but it's just not as good, and it is very slow. Um, so you would have to manually focus it, which is going to be difficult because there's no pull-out screen or anything like that. So if you're going to be using this camera for vlogging, it is going to be quite difficult to try and get that focus. So overall, what do I think? The Canon 100D, I think, still lives up to its uh, still lives up to its name. It's a pretty decent camera, I think, for for taking photos. It's actually really nice in the studio setting as well. Uh, it's really good. I would use it as a backup camera. I would also use it just to take in my bag uh, when I don't want to take my 5D Mark IV uh, because it's a pretty decent camera. And I think even now, after the release of the new model, it's a decent camera. And I think it lives up to its uh, to its name. The uh, only downsides to it is I would say that the focusing, especially for vlogging, is very slow, as I said earlier. Um, and it's also got some little bits and bats that just seem to be a bit weak about it. Um, the sound just seems to be very difficult to try and understand how to work it. If you're not sure on how to use the older models of Canons, um, the switching the video on were quite a, an eye thingy, eye opener. Thinking how do, how do I do this? Um, but overall. I think if you're using it as just a beginner's camera, as a vlogging camera, um, as a travel camera, I think it's absolutely perfect for what you need it for. So I'm going to give it three flat caps out of five. So if you liked this video, hit the like button, share it if you can, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Boop.